Hi guys, in this video I'm going to share my top tips and guidance on sitting the MRCOG part 1 exam. Um, having sat the exam in September 2016 and passing it on first attempt, I thought I should make something for you guys um, who are in a similar situation and are thinking of sitting the exam very soon and cannot figure out where to start and are struggling with the common things. Um, so common things and common questions asked are um, when can I sit the exam? So um, if you look on the RCOG website, so the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, um, it clearly states um, under the part one section as to when exactly the exam is held and where in the world. Um, it is commonly held um, in March and September in the UK. Um, the exam consists of two papers, um, so paper one and paper two. Um, both papers cover different parts of the curriculum and and it's important for you to look through the RCOG website again for which parts of the curriculum are covered in each of the papers. Um, both papers consist of 100 SBAs, which are single best answers. Um, and both paper, you need to pass both papers in order for you to pass the exam. Um, in terms of what is the pass mark, um, it, that varies every year. And there is no standard answer to this. Um, it depends on how difficult the exam is. And how the other candidates have, have performed who are in a similar situation giving the exam on the day. How many attempts are allowed? There's six attempts um, allowed on, on the exam according to the RCOG website. Um, um, you can sit the exam anywhere after the, your, you've completed your medical degree um, before moving on to ST3. So by, by the end of your ST2 year, which is the two years of your obstetrics and gynaecology training, you've, ha you've had to um, pass the MRCOG part one exam. Um, before sitting the exam, um, I was really confused at, as to where to start. I could not figure out. Um, there is a huge number of resources available out there and I was struggling to pick the ones um, which were going to be most useful. So this is my experience about um, preparing for the MRCOG exam. Um, I would say give, you, give, give yourself at least six to eight months to prepare for the exam. Um, the, one of the big things in the website I used for practice practice questions was the BMJ on examination um, this website is a great resource it's got about 1500 single best um, answers and EMQs um, and lots of other style of questions um, the idea is it's timed um, you can work at your own pace it compares your scores with everyone else who is practicing the questions um, with you on that website so you can you can compare yourself and see how well you're doing um, also it divides the questions into um, different parts like microbiology, pharmacology, anatomy. So whatever is the weakest area, you could redo the questions and keep practicing until you become better at it. Um, so I thought that this resource was was very very handy. The questions um, had good. Um, details as to what the answers were and why the other answers were not considered or were not right. So you went through the questions actually learning about um, the curriculum itself. Um, so I would I, I started with the BMG on examination, just, just a few questions every day and I felt that my knowledge um, improved daily. Um, the other resource, um, again, it's a practice question resource, is a strategy. It, this is the RCOG um, recommended and affiliated resource. Um, it's, um, again, got lots of practice questions, about more than 400 single best answers. Um, the only thing with this resource is it hasn't got um, explanations to the answers. Some of some of the questions, I would say, um, haven't got the explanation. So um, you don't know why it's correct. Um, so I, I had to Google and, and look around um, for the answers which again helps stimulates your learning um, but again it was it was useful um, and, and you could go through the questions as many times as you like. Um, now both these websites the BMG on examination and the strategy have got a subscription fee um, for more details check um, the check um, my bio um, so that you could get some direct links for the websites. Um, one, so this is one of the textbooks that I used. Um, it's called the Revision Notes for the MRCOG Part One. It's by Oxford Specialty Training. So um, this book is bullet points. It's got um, 
lots of little pictures, diagrams, tables, and the idea is that everything that um, you need is in small little bullet points so you don't end up reading lots and lots of text um, and you can just gr get to straight to the point and and start learning things so it's it I, I particularly find it useful for anatomy um, some of the physiology things pharmacology the clinical management was very useful as well so I would recommend that you do have a look through this book um, the next book um, that I would suggest that you also have um, is the MRCOG part one this book is by um, um, one of the RCOG recommended books and this book covers all the curriculum in different sections. Um, it's it's a little bit wordy I felt um, and the, the problem is if you are working and trying to study for an exam it becomes difficult to go through textbooks and lots and lots of text. Um, but if you are struggling with a particular section, like say, for example, you think you're not so good for, with anatomy, then I would suggest that you read this book and um, to get some detailed and good learning. It's got really good pictures with labelled diagrams as well. Um, one of the other books I used was a past papers book. Everyone, so all my seniors recommended that I do use this book. It's called Past Paper Questions from 97 to 2001, the MRCOG part one. Um, now do bear in mind the exam has really, really changed a lot since the 97s and 2001s and now. Uh, but I think it's, it's a good way of stimulating your learning and knowing how much you know depth you need to know and it's it, the more practice you do the better you become um like anything really um this is another book that i would recommend however just be careful um this book i found that had um a few um question answers were wrong um so just just be very careful when you using this book but i thought it's got really really good explanations to some of the answers in this textbook and the practice practice questions were really really useful and um, so I would suggest that you use this resource right at the end when you have done other resources and are just wanting to practice more questions again this is another book um, called the SBAs for the part one MRCOG um, this is probably got about 400 question 400 questions um, and it's got um, the, the the good thing about this book is it's short it's direct to the point however it's not got any explanations to the answers itself so you don't know why your answer is wrong or right um, so you will have to look around for um, reasonings um, so again this book is good for um, practicing especially when you've studied a little bit for the exam um, I think on the whole I would say that the more practice um, questions you practice and the, the more um, you will become better at it. It might sound a bit odd not to use lots and lots of um, reading textbooks but the only way I thought um, you could get through this exam um, successfully was to practice lots and lots of questions because that's how you'll increase your exposure to all the curriculum items covered um, in the exam. If you, I personally, I felt that if I sat down to read a textbook um, that had got lots and lots of detailed um, and you know um, parts of the curriculum, I felt that I was starting to forget things. I was taking too long, and um, and it would I would read something in one week, and then two weeks down the line, I would completely forget it. But by doing questions. I remembered more things. Um, the questions co cover cover almost all of the entire curriculum, and the curriculum is very wide. So um, you do need to practice questions to get more and more exposure to the curriculum. Um, good luck with your exam, guys. If you do have any more questions, then please please post them down below in the comment section, and I will try and answer them. Um, as soon as possible please um, subscribe to my channel and share the video if you think um, there are any of your friends who are willing to sit the exam and wanting to get some guidance um, thanks for watching